The crisis rocking the River State chapter of the All Progressives Congress APC has deepened following resignation of key members of the party in the state. While APC members are yet to get over the shock, resignation of strong supporters of the leader of the party in the state, a former governorship aspirant in the state, Tony Prentwell, has resigned his membership of the party. Now, these follow the announcement of a Muslim running made by the APC presidential candidate for the 2023 elections, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. In a letter addressed to the party chairman, Prentwell said he cannot argue for equity in the state and defend inequity in the country. Reacting to the development, the APC Assistant Publicity Secretary in the state, Darlington Woju, described some of the defectors as those who have added value to the party, while others have technically left even before they announced their resignation from the party. Politics in Nigeria is not ideologically based. And so you see this uh, sort of thing when once it comes to transition seasons. A few of the individuals that had made uh, valuable contributions to the growth of the party in time past. But majority of those who have resigned are persons who have for long left the party, technically speaking. And so uh, 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 turning in resignations on social media and all that, some of them even with uh, party letterhead papers, showing that they do not even understand what uh, they are doing. So for us, it's guaranteed under the 1999 Constitution as amended that people can freely associate. So it's the right to associate, whereas we have uh, received a very uh, high-profile persons into our, our party without making any noise about it. Reacting to the Muslim Muslim ticket decision by Tinubu, Darlington expressed optimism that the presidential candidate would have consulted widely before making his choice. Meanwhile, some residents of Port Hackett said Nigerians should rather focus on the value of the candidate for good governance rather than exerting energy on religion as the basis for choosing political leaders. The onus uh, lies on a presidential or governorship candidate to decide who should be on that joint ticket with them. So I, I believe that um, the candidate must have consulted widely before making a choice. So we'll live with that as a party. Unless we leave religion aside, whatever is the situation of this country, right, we can get it right. But if we continue to talk about religion, uh, this person is a Christian, this person is a Muslim, it has nothing to do with people's moral. Right? Because we keep on talking about one seat alone or two seats alone. We talk about the presidency and the vice presidency. People don't talk about the National Assembly, which is by law in a democratic government, this is the people that make the law. So we talk about an individual. What if a, a, a Christian becomes a president and everybody or half of the people in the National Assembly are all Muslims and we are actually doing Muslim or Christian things? then nothing is going to work. So the issue of this country personally, in my personal opinion, is about who is eligible to actually lead the country to another level. The issue of his um, religion shouldn't have been a very serious issue if not for the level of religious rife and unnecessary um, escalation of uh, religious interest. What would have been more reasonable would have been the issue of our regions. But again, beyond the issue of region, the person being appointed, the Shetima uh, in question, is he the most competent in the North in terms of character, in terms of deliverables, and even in terms of the current state of our country, which is the issue of, issue of security? I think someone that during this tenure, uh, Boko Haram, you know, escalated beyond. Um, Beyond major, should you know about the popular Chibo girls during this tenor? It was, it was uh, during this tenor. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.